This is not financial advice, but I got some bangers for you today. And some of our plays are running up and they're showing us another buying opportunity today. And guess what? I'm gonna explain to you why one of them is running up because some people are explaining to you that you should buy it, but they're not really telling you why you should buy it. So we gotta break it down. And you know we get straight to the point over here, so let's get right into it. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. First one on the list is Fubo TV, ticker symbol F-U-B-O. In this one, we got in it already, but it's presenting us with a buying opportunity because it's trading kind of sideways and it's dropping today. So here we go. They're a subscription-based digital entertainment company, and they have been killing it for like the last week or so. But they're pulling back a bit, right? So what do they do? They focus on streaming TVs like sports, news, entertainment, and they just IPO not too long ago. So stock analyst Monty Fool. They pretty much came out with an article and they were saying that if you got your $600 stimulus check, which I told y'all before, but they think you should invest into this. So there's a lot of things back in this stock, right? And this one's more of a longer term hold. However, they're saying that it's like buying Netflix when it was young. This is what the word going around is. Now, I'm not going to take it that far. I told y'all in the last one, I'm not going to take it that far and say it's like Netflix. But even if it was a quarter of being like Netflix, this one could easily 5X. All right. So what are the Wall Street analysts saying? The Wall Street analysts, seven of them rated it, and seven of them gave it a buy, zero gave it a hold, and zero gave it a sell. They think at the current price, you should buy it right now. But the price targets that they have are $40 on the high, $18 on the low, and $30 at the median. Why is that? Because this is still an emerging company, and they have like 455,000 subscriptions, but they doubled their subscriptions in the last four months. So that's what's crazy about Fubo TV. However, think about this. The high price target was $40 a share, but currently they're blowing past those expectations because they are currently $57 a share. They're down 7% on a day. Oh no, they're down. We know this is a buying opportunity for a great company. When it dips, that's when we jump on it. All right, so they are up 86% on a week. They are up 425% on a year. And it's looking like they got a lot more room to run up. So I want you to do your own research. Remember, this is not financial advice. And don't come crying to me because you didn't do your own research or you put all of your money in at one time and you didn't dollar cost average in. So let's see how we're gonna go about this. I got three strike prices and imagine that you had $300 to put on this, 100, 100, 100. Scale this up to your income level or buy fractional share so it makes sense. Okay, here we go. Every strike price, I'm gonna put $100 on it. If this thing hit $55, bow! I'm putting $100 on it. If it hit $50, bow! I'm putting another $50 on it. And if it hit 40, Bow! I'm putting another 100 on it. Because remember, proper preparation prevents poor performance. We want to be prepared for it to dip because stocks don't only go up. Now, how long am I holding this one? I'm holding this one for three to five years, if not longer than that. Because if this is anything like Netflix, this thing is going to take all the way off, right? And we know that they have a low amount of debt compared to all of the assets that they have. So they pretty much are in no danger of defaulting on their loans. So this company is looking like it's really, really a long-term hold. Now, next one on the list. Some of you have been telling me about this one. You've been saying, man, I want you to cover this one, cover this one, cover this one. Because it's been taking off and going crazy over the last few days. And people are telling you to buy it, but they're not really telling you why people are actually buying this one. And if it's a good long-term hold or not. So without further ado, this one is QuantumScape, ticker symbol QS. So now, this one has already did that run up. And remember, we're not gonna chase. However, there will always be another play, but this one is also showing us another opportunity to buy in. So let's get it. Now, they focus on the most revolutionary technologies in the world currently, which is solid state batteries. This is in the top most revolutionary just technologies currently right now. Now, why is this important? Because if they perfect this solid state battery, then it'll immediately double the battery density and the energy that can be held within a single battery. And it'll double the lifespan, if not triple the lifespan. So imagine this, you got a cell phone, right? And if you left your cell phone down, it could probably last like a few days if you weren't using it. But this might very well make your phone last a week, a solid state battery, or two weeks. Now let's think about why this is even more important because we know the EV revolution is coming like a storm, right? So you know why that's important? Because EVs, the batteries are basically 
the most expensive part of an EV. So if we can make that have more energy, like for example, let's say that a Tesla could drive 500 miles. With a solid state battery, this thing could easily do a thousand miles on a single charge or easily do 1500 miles on a single charge. And it's gonna last way longer in the average lifespan on like a Tesla battery, you could say, like minimum is like eight years, but this would immediately bring it to 20 years. So solid state batteries are gonna be a game changer. And this company, QuantumScape, is actually working on that. And that's why it's important. And one stock analyst, they gave QuantumScape a sell rating and they gave it a price target of $28, which it already blew way past that because it's 116 a share, it's down 11% on a day, it's up 80% on a week, and it's up over 1,000% on a year. Why would you buy a stock that's down 11% on a day? Because we buy the dip. We buy the dip. You'd want to buy low, right? Sell high. However, this one is looking like a long-term hold because if they perfect this solid state battery, this one is gonna totally take off. Now, this is not something that's gonna happen overnight. This one is planned out for maybe even five years from now for this one to really be solidified. So why, what's a component for why this is in the news and why everybody's talking about this one right now? So we know that Apple came out with some rumor. Apple didn't even officially come out with it, but there's a rumor about Apple with revolutionary battery technology for 2024, right? But we know Apple isn't really involved in the EV thing right now. So they're gonna have to just outsource some of the information and learn from other companies that are already doing the revolutionary battery thing. And Quantum Scape is the primary candidate in a situation like this. So if that iCar comes out with the new battery tech, next level battery tech, it's probably gonna be a solid state battery. So this is not a short term play at all. So what we want to do is strike like this. We wanna strike on the 10% pullback, which is basically close to right now. It's 11, so that's even better than the 10% pullback. So boom, my first strike price if I had $300. I'm striking right now. Remember, buy fractional shares or scale this up to what makes sense. So bow, I'm on it right now for my first strike price. Then my next one, we expect it to go down. We want the dollar cost average down. Again, do not come crying to me because you spent all of your money and then it dropped. You dollar cost average in. So my next strike price, if I seen it at 100, bow, I'm putting another 100 on it, baby. And then if I seen it at 80, bow, I'm putting another 100 on it, baby. Because solid state batteries are the way of the future. They're the way of the future. And when am I exiting this one? I'm not exiting this one. I will hold it for three to five years, basically, if not longer if not even way longer, because this one is a really long-term play that could be huge. This is not financial advice, but I'm taking a small position on this one if you haven't already. All right, now, next one on the list. We got a bonus. We got to come back to this one because the hype and the talk about this one has died down, but we cannot sleep on this one. We cannot sleep on one of the most disruptive just companies that the world has ever seen. The Uber of hotels, Airbnb. We know that they IPO'd back on December 9th and they gave them a price target of 75, but guess what? That price target is shot way past it and literally did like $100 more and went up to like 174 a share. All right, so five Wall Street analysts gave this one a buy rating or five Wall Street analysts actually rated it. Three of them gave it a buy, one gave it a hold, and one gave it a sell. And Wall Street analysts, they actually updated their price targets. The first price target that they had was 135 was the high. It blew past that. They updated their price target, and now the high price target is 180. And now the low price target is still 75, and then the median was 95, but now it's 123. All right, now we know this company is gonna grow. Let's be clear on that. They don't have any construction costs. They don't have to build any buildings. They basically have none of the overhead that hotels and motels have, so they're gonna kick them to the curb, right? So this company could easily 10X, but it's gonna take a while. This is a long-term play. This is a very long-term play. Technically, all of these plays I'm showing you today is a long-term play. So when would I get into this one? My first strike price for this is right now. I'm trying to get in in 2020 because remember, the time you spend in the market for a long-term play is more important than your timing in the market. Time in the market is more important than timing in the market. So my first one is right now. Again, don't come crying to me because you lose money and you sell low. I'm not selling low. If I bought now and it dipped, 
I'm buying a dip. I'm happy it dipped because I'm holding it long term. All right, then my next strike price is 150. I see that? Bow! I'm putting another 150 on it or 100 on it if I'm buying in dollars and not shares. I'm buying fractional shares. Or if I seen it at 120, bow! I'm putting my next 100 on it, right? And I'm buying fractional shares or I would scale this up to whatever your income level is. All right, and when am I exiting this one? When are people gonna stop needing rooms? Let's get to the comment of the day. I follow you every day for a real long time. And because of that, I was able to buy my first company building. Thanks, man. I always appreciate your enthusiasm and it's the best. Watch it from the Netherlands. Now, I wanted to say I was humbled to hear this, but I feel strength when I hear stuff like that. So I'm honored. I'm absolutely honored that you consider me a part of your journey, even though I can't take credit for anything that you do because you are a winner and you got the cash for that. You got the deals for that. You solidified the contracts and you won that one. But you know what? Whenever one of us wins, all of us wins. So put a rocket in the comments for my boy. Shout out to you. You gave us another win and let's keep it going. So if your portfolio isn't diversified, diversify. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. And if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. I love y'all. I really do. Take care.